death, right? John Shaw was relying on those workers' comp check payments to help with medical bills and support his wife back home in Louisiana. Once Celadon filed for bankruptcy, those checks stopped coming. They, they, was, they was a great company up until the day that, you know, greed took over. John Shaw had been working for Celadon since 2015. He's been driving a truck on and off for nearly 30 years, logging almost 3 million miles without an accident. That changed on November 5th of last year. According to the police report, the truck that I hit was uh, in, in, the, uh, in one lane and he moved into the other lane without giving a signal in, in front of me, causing me to hit him. Shaw says the right side of the cabin was gone, his engine sitting in the middle of I-75 with a seat on top of it. I don't, I don't think you could measure how close I come to dying that night. Exactly a month after being flown to UT Medical Center, he hears about Celadon filing for bankruptcy and ultimately closing. Sean was, like many others, insured through his company. I just naturally assumed and everything and all that I was you know, going to be without a job. But, and, and I, I never, never thought that they would, you know, cut off my, my uh, workman's comp and, and my insurance and stuff like that. He was fortunate enough, a daughter living in Knoxville, to help with his day-to-day -day needs. Shaw still has to worry about medical bills, including several surgeries, two months of hospital stay and rehab. It's not cheap. Just the 15-minute helicopter ride from the accident scene to the University of Tennessee, was 43,000 and change, close to, close to $44,000. I reached out to the Indiana Workers' Compensation Board. They say that when a company files for bankruptcy, the courts put a hold on any money going out. And at that point, the Workers' Comp Board takes over payments. That was a similar case for Shaw, along with more issues. The board wasn't able to pay Shaw because of recent developments in Celadon's claims. Now, Shaw says he's grateful to know he will get his workers' comp checks, including back pay, but he doesn't know how long he will have to wait. He won't be able to pay for rehab until that money comes in. Bo? All right, Kirsty, yeah. thank you very much. Well, going on your side, also we reached out to the state of Tennessee's Bureau of Workers' Compensation to find out what protections residents have here. Here's what we found out. Self-insured companies are required to set up some sort of financial security, so if the company goes out of business, employees on workers' comp can still get paid.